Um, damn, this match is explosive, right? It's explosive, yeah. And I think for car flow, with Roy, you're so used to being able to be the aggressor constantly, you know, always the one yeah. to, like, go in and press your really fast, safe moves. But Mithra is arguably faster and safer, so it's going to be interesting for Carflow to how they're going to adapt to this newer character um, mm -hmm. who has aggressive tools arguably just as good as Roy. Yeah, both of them are really going to be relying on like a lot of jump and ways to like be able to condition one another, especially out of the shield. But right now, this is so big for Monkey Boy, having Carflow at the edge of the stage, but not uh, going out there. Um, still had a double jump he can still make his recovery nice and safe. Yeah, and that, that's Ooh. gonna be a stock. That is a really laggy side B. Um, so, good thing by Carflow, just totally realizing yeah. that you can punish that super strong. Yeah, you should always be calling that. There's no reason you should be respecting, um, you know, Mithra's side B at any point in the game. And I love those side B mix ups. Didn't even go with, like, the final hit, um, just trying to cross, you know, Monkey Boy up a little bit, try to mix them up a bit. But now Carflow needs to find a way to make it back onto the stage and. Huh. Yeah, does not get the spike hit somehow right there. Not sure what that is from Monkey Boy with that up B, but um, last stock, Monkey Boy was on Pyra and took a lot percent. And it looks like the same thing's happening. It's much harder for Pyra to deal with Roy's aggression, so Monkey Boy is going to need to close the stock out or switch back to Mithra. Mm -hmm. But I feel like Carflow is consistently holding onto the double jump so well, always using it as a tool to be able to get back oh, on. And what oh, a catch on oh. a bit of a greedy recovery for Monkey Boy. They probably wanted to go through like a reversal, like an up B over the ledge, try to steal that stock quickly, but... Uh, was ended up losing their own uh, for it. Yeah, and right now Carflow against this Pyra is just doing his best to not walk into any of these aerials that Monkey Boy keeps throwing out because they know how much Monkey Boy just wants to close out the stock and not give it to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Carflow is just playing so defensively, just constantly dashing and shielding. And honestly, Pyra Mythica doesn't really necessarily have the best grabs and throws uh, to be able to challenge that. But. And that. Here it is again. All of those premature like side bees coming uh, on top of the ledge just make them so vulnerable. Yeah, Monkey Boy lost all three stocks there to a bit of a recovery mishap. Two from a side B on stage and one from a bit yep. of a like like you said a greedy up B from Pyra. So it's gonna be really important that Monkey Boy does not give free stocks like that because you saw once Carflow gets the lead, it's much harder to use Ooh. like. The, I, oh. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's much harder. Um, once once Carflow gets a lead, it's much harder to use that like privilege that Mithra has of really good aggression because you need to close out the stock. And then once you're stuck on Pyra, Roy's really good at avoiding getting hit by these slow, big swords. So um, Monkey Boy cannot be giving away free kills like that, basically. Yeah, for sure. So going into this next game, I just feel like Monkey Boy needs to be much more cognizant and careful of their like, disadvantage options of when they're off stage. That's really the trick to playing these kinds of characters that are so strong on stage, and then suddenly that they're off, you have to really play through my back foot. Um, I understand like they don't want to like immediately double jump back on, they're not trying to go low in case they get too framed, but as a result, they're just leaving themselves super exposed and vulnerable um, as card flow. I just feel like was always in a position to punish it, and again. You know, if it worked, Monkey Boy was a genius, but it sadly did not, and that's just going to be starting the game, taking a quick 27. Carflow right now trying to find a big opening with a falling forward who sets up a tech chase is not going to be able to cover the right option in time. I mean, they're just always landing these hits first, so it seems like Monkey Boy just needs to readjust. You know, I feel like if you're whiffing a lot in this game, you need to really think about, am I trying to hit them where they're going, or am I hitting them where they're at? And just switching to the other um, usually helps you find a lot more hits. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. Um you see car flow when they throw moves out it definitely has a clear purpose you know yeah. either to stuff them out or to punish uh, or to whiff punish monkey boy but monkey mm -hmm. boy just seems to be Ooh. pressing really good buttons with uh, mithra but not with too much intent and car flow is able to punish that mm -hmm. Um, but right now, they're able to get a bit of damage going um, in that one edge guard. Not going to be closing out uh, anything too much from it, but such a good position to be in. <gasps> Catches the neutral getup, but maybe uh, lets it rip a little bit too late. Yeah, and anti F smash is going to get them on ledge. And Carflow, really good reactions right here. Mm -hmm. I love as you said that. <laughs> they missed the dash grab uh, yeah. grab the tech chase, but uh, yeah, no, just good stuff nonetheless. This still looks like the game completely. Gets a salary spot of back here. Once again, just keeping Monkey Boy in an awful position, but what a ledge mix up. Yeah, that moves tricky, but if you do DI away like Carflow did, it actually did not kill nearly as early as it may seem. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yep, that's a vibe check. 
and you want to know a, a little bit of a pro anti pirate tip, you can spot dodge that last hit and actually punish that move and also not get shield broken. That's so. a pro multi hit tip on shield, too. True. You can do this, by the way, with Byleth Neutralin. You can do this with Young Link Up B on you shield. You can do this with Cloud Up B on you shield. These are normally moves that are a little bit safer than they should be, and just by spot dodging it and not getting yourself stuck in shield stun, uh, you're able to just really exploit them for it. So. Hit the lab with it, and honestly, you'll be so rewarded. The more you know, the rainbow's somewhere here. <laughs> and now, uh, Monkey Boy finally able to hold a bit of advantage, probably the longest they have so far. And but just those side Bs, I don't think they've hit a single one. Yeah, no, not in the slightest. I just don't see, like, why... Like, I understand him wanting to avoid the legend entirely, especially against somebody like Roy, but a lot of those early side Bs just often end up putting you in a worse position than before. Really nice high recovery from card flow. Uh, Monkey Boy was just in no position to be able to cover it in time. Ooh, I think that could have just been an F-smash. Yeah, that time is nicely spaced. Able to snap onto the ledge. F to go for a bit of stage control once again. Yeah, Carflow has been, well, as I say that, misses the pivot grab. But Carflow has been really resilient, or really strong on ledge against Monkey Boy. Monkey Boy has not been able to get back on stage, <laughs> like, that easily at all. I really like that double jump, um, you know, aerial attack to get back onto the stage. But just like that, once again, not spacing the up B, ends up getting caught halfway up uh, and losing their stock. So, really good stuff to Carflow. Yeah, Carflow just, you was so smart and where he spaced himself in shield to mm -hmm. just constantly be punishing like the overextensions from Monkey Boy. And